What's going on guys? Eric here with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. The vlog that gets you out of your house, out of your workplace, brings you somewhere exciting and new and something hopefully educational. I am here in the middle of nowhere, Heartland, America, just north of Esterville, Iowa. And right here in this spot, a 455 pound meteorite, the largest in recorded history to have ever landed in North America, fell a few hundred feet due west of this location in 1879. When it landed, it buried itself into a crater 15 feet deep into the earth. And they have marked this plaque here, as you can see in the middle of a cornfield in Northwestern Iowa. So I thought I'd drive out and check it out. The Esterville meteorite fell 482 feet due west of this spot on May 10th, 1879. It was one of the three greatest falls on record, according to the plaque here. They even said they have pieces of this meteorite in the Smithsonian Museum and in a museum in Vienna, Austria. And they have a few pieces here at the Esterville Library and at a soon to open museum here in downtown Esterville. It's like five o'clock right now, so everything is closed. The library is closed. The museum has not even opened yet. It's, some, it's an up and coming attraction here in Esterville. So I can't see that today, but they do have a sculpture on the street corner in Esterville that I got out and took some pictures of depicting a meteorite falling to the earth with a huge letterhead saying the Esterville meteorite. So it's definitely a roadside attraction. It's very peaceful out here. It's a hot July summer day, but I thought I'd take a break. I am driving home to Chicago from my parents' house in Spear Lake, Iowa. I wanted to get out and stretch the legs and just kind of came across the meteorite sign in downtown Esterville. I took a field trip when I was in junior high in a science course to this meteorite location. There was not a plaque that I recall ever seeing back then. Maybe it was here. I just can't remember. But we did see the crater location, which might actually be right over here. I'm gonna see if I can maybe get a view. As you can see, it's a cornfield, so there's really not a lot to look at today anyway. Back in 1879, totally different story. A 15 foot crater, well, a 15 foot deep crater. I don't know how wide the destruction was, but they do have a plaque. They have a stone marking this which is pretty awesome. I, I've never really seen a lot of meteorite crash locations. I think there is a large historic site, a large um, hole in the earth in Arizona. I've never even been into the state of Arizona. I would love to go someday, but never been in that direction. But in the meantime, here in the heartland, we have the famous Esterville meteorite. So across the highway from the actual meteorite plaque or historic marker, it reads 482 feet due west. Well, this is west across this field here and approximately you know, a, few, a few hundred feet straight ahead of me is where that 455 pound meteorite would have crash landed into the earth almost 140 years ago here in Northwest Iowa. And from the highway here, you really cannot tell, you know, where that would have happened. Obviously 140 years is a long time. This land has been cultivated. There are soybeans growing here right now. So it's hard to see if there would be an impact crater at all at this point in time. I don't know if maybe walking straight out there, you could tell obviously that is private land, so I'm not gonna do that. But from here, it just kind of looks like a smooth rolling hill in Northwest Iowa. Not a whole lot to see. So really, if you're interested in it, to come out here, there is a marker 
a historic marker over there on the other side of the highway. Definitely be careful. There's a lot of traffic going back and forth here. It's a, it's not a heavily used highway, but there's definitely cars whipping around. But the impact crater is long gone. There's not much to see. Still though, it's cool to be in the vicinity to see this stone marker that was placed here to mark that historic event. It's hard to imagine what the farmers would have thought about it back in 1879. Esterville was, it's a small town now. I'm sure it was a lot smaller back then. Settlers on the old Western frontier. It's hard to say exactly how they would have felt. I don't know if they heard the impact crash. I don't know if they saw the light in the sky. I'm really, really excited to see that museum if and when that does open in the near future here to see if that is something that they talk about. I don't know if there are any historic accounts or personal accounts on the meteorite and the crash. So that's your history lesson today, guys. If you're ever in Northwest Iowa, come take a look at it. They actually have a kind of a nice little roped off area for it. And the grass here is all freshly mowed. So somebody's taking care of it. Maybe the city. But there you have it. A historic marker here in the middle of the heartland in northwestern Iowa. The Esterville meteorite. And they have a museum in downtown, Ester downtown Esterville that is opening up soon. There's a website online. I will post that link in the description below. Here in the window, you can see a piece of that historic meteorite, the Esterville meteorite. They have it in a window here off the main street at it's 816, I think West Central or West Center Avenue, but this is the proposed museum location according to their website. They have a piece of the meteorite right here is where the sculpture is of the historic meteorite here in Esterville. So, I'm looking forward to that museum. I, it's not open yet. It looks like it's something that's in the making. It's in the woodworks. I'm hoping next time I make it out west, maybe I can get in there and see it if it's open for business. So there you go, guys. That is the Esterville meteorite. It is a historic meteorite that hit North America back in 1879. A little small town pride. It's good to see. driving past Nashua to see the little church in the Vale. Look at that. That literally was not there when I drove the other way about 10 minutes ago. I don't know if that's uh, it's supposed to be on fire. Wow. Look at the smoke pool. Look at that. <laughs> 